Are all sins the same as one another? I mean, there's a lot of people in America today that think, look, one sin is just as bad as the next. Do you believe that? Do you really believe it? Now, if you say no, of course not, then stay with me. I'm going to give you some fodder to help some of your fellow Christian friends. Because there are some well-meaning Christian people, they always quote Bible verses, who want us to believe that all sin is the same. Well, first of all, there is an element of truth to it, as there is with all deception, and error, and even heresy. Any sin separates us from God. So in the final analysis, sin could be something that causes us eternal danger, whether it's a really huge sin or a small sin. But before I di digressing too much, let me put out some questions to you. If you believe that all sins are the same, I'll ask you, are, are you telling me that if somebody ravaged your wife and then murdered her or murdered your sons, that you think that's the same as somebody stealing a pack of gum out of your car when you left the door unlocked? Are you saying that those sins are equal? Are you saying that what Adolf Hitler did is on par with someone telling a lie to you? Are you lying to someone? Is that what you're saying? You know in your heart that's not true. Sin is different in how it impacts people. It's different in how it impacts the person committing the sin. It's, it's different in how it impacts God. I mean, just take murder. The, the ancient church teaches that murder is the chief sin. It is the worst sin that human beings can commit on this earth because there's nothing that can be done for the victim. Time is changed. In other words, if, if a man is murdered, his wife is a widow, his children are orphans. No restitution can bring him back. If someone steals your car, you can get a new car. If someone murders your dad, you can't get a new dad. Okay? And the impact is different on the kingdom of God. When, when these babies are killed, maybe, maybe one of them would have found a cure for a horrible disease, or maybe one of them would have done some great and wonderful thing, and maybe God had a plan for that person. We know that murder is not God's will because God said, Thou shalt not murder. So it wasn't the will of God for that person to be murdered, and now that person is gone, and literally the kingdom of God is without the benefit of what that person could have done in, in this world. So don't kid yourself that all sins are equal. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because there's, when you look at Obama and you look at Eric Holder and you look at this debacle in the Middle East with ISIS, Christians elected Obama. Roman Catholics, evangelicals put this man in the White House and they told themselves, yeah, he supports abortion, but so what? You know, there's other things that the other candidates do that I don't agree with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Murder's the worst thing. And when Obama says goodbye to Eric Holder, he praises Holder because Holder refused to defend marriage. These are horrifying acts of sin against God, and they're worse than other sins, okay? And if we voted for him, we sinned. We need our Christian leaders to start telling us the truth and we need to start living the truth with our votes as we bear in on this next election.